Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily insert a mathematical equation into a Word document. Word lets you insert preset equations and also manually enter equations. To insert a preset equation in Word, first place your insertion mark cursor at the place in your document where you want the equation to appear. Then click the Insert tab in the ribbon. In the Symbols button group, click the drop-down arrow on the Equation button to show its drop-down menu of choices. Then scroll through the built-in section to view the available preset equations. If you don't see what you want, you can hover over the More Equations from Office.com command to see a new side menu of choices. After finding the preset equation to insert, click it in either of these areas to insert it into your document. Alternatively, to manually enter an equation in Word, first place your insertion mark cursor at the place in your document where you want the equation to appear. Then click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the Equation button in the Symbols button group. A blank equation field is then inserted into your document. At that point, then either an Equation Contextual tab or a Design tab of an Equation Tools Contextual tab appears in the ribbon depending on your Office version. On this contextual tab, then click the buttons that appear within the Symbols and Structures button groups in conjunction with any symbols or numbers you need to enter using your keyboard keys to enter your desired equation into the Equation field. After inserting an equation using either method, you can click the drop-down arrow in the Equation field to see a drop-down menu of choices. Selecting the Save as New Equation command adds the equation to the drop-down menu that appears when you click the drop-down arrow on the Equation button. Selecting the Professional or Linear commands lets you change the formatting of the equation. You can select either the Change to Inline or Change to Display toggle command to switch how you insert the equation into the document. If you choose the Display option, which is the default, you can then adjust the justification of the equation by using the commands that appear in the drop-down menu to the side of the Justification command. If you set it to Inline, the equation is locked to its original insertion point. You can also use the buttons in the Equation Contextual tab in the ribbon to edit any equation that you have inserted. To delete an equation, simply select it in your document. Then press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.